All right, guys, since I got such a great reception for doing, uh, for people wanting me to do episode reviews of Samurai Jack, I decided to uh, continue on with that. So, yeah, I am going to do episode reviews of Samurai Jack um, for the final season. And, yeah, <laughs> here we go. So, now we've come to the next episode, and right out the gate, we finally see Aku in the new season. And it's an interesting take. <laughs> um, we start out with Aku waking up, putting on his, his um, <clears throat> great flaming eyebrows, and going through the, through the daily motions. Now, I know some people, there are some people out there who were kind of like, that's how we're going to introduce Aku, just a com comedic gag for the second time. To a, and I can understand that, yeah, some people really want to see, like, dark ta a dark take on Aku and all that. And Aku can be evil. But to which I respond with three simple words. Great flaming eyebrows. Yep. So this does... Aku did this shit all the time. So honestly, it's not bad that, that this is the first time we finally see Aku. We heard him in the first episode. We heard his voice in the first episode, but to see him in per like in character in this episode, and he's not doing anything like dark and serious like we thought he would, uh, kind of cool with it. It kind of rings true to what some of the other se you know a lot of the seasons of Samurai Jack were of just having him be this kind of overly sometimes overly ridiculous character because he's so powerful he gives no fucks anymore, and that's the thing is that he keeps pretending in this ep in the episode. We see that that um, Aku didn't even know that when he destroyed all the time portals, he he thought Samurai he thought Jack would just die. He just thought that Jack would just die of depression or you know die of old age or something like that. Turned out the time portal. It turns out that when he threw him into the future, he he basically did not know that he would inadvertently make his adversary immortal. So that's been driving him nuts for over 50 years. And I love it because J Aku literally created the thing he hates. <laughs> and it's driving him nuts. I would also love to have, like, I would love to, if I, if I could, I'd take, like, a recording of that whole image of him getting ready for the day and just take it to the daughters of Aku and be like, see that? That's the guy you worship. <laughs> Speaking of the daughters of Aku... Good lord, are they awesome. Man, the f Jack, I haven't seen Jack this kind, you know, this fought back and this on the defensive in a long time. I mean, yeah, there were the, you know, there were so many uh, times in the show where he was fought back. But like he said in this episode, I always find a way. Trust me, he found a way. And what was interesting is that um, Jack... Um, Jack kind of wants to kill himself. He's having this conversation with himself because he is now just old and deranged. Well, not old, but he's kind of losing his grip on reality, and he's kind. It's kind of obvious he wants. There's a part of him that wants to commit suicide and just end it. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like it kind of adds more to the Aku scene because that's the only level of comedy you see in this whole episode. So it wanted to give it like lull you into a sense of security and then be like, oh, we're doing this. <laughs> so yeah. What I also like is that, Aku, like, even Jack says, I, you know, it always seems bad, because, but they're just nuts and bolts, and I'll always find a way. They ain't nuts and bolts, Jack! <laughs> And Jack, and I love that moment where Jack actually kills one of the daughters of Aku. He like he gets her bad too. He gets her in the throat. Like it's just she's just spurting blood. He's like that's not oil. <laughs> like you can see it in his face. Like oh that's blood, not oil. And then she slumps to the floor and reveals her face. And Jack is like oh god these aren't robots. But then he gets over it real quick, and that's what I like because Jack has killed people, I mean, aliens and whatnot, in the time, in, in the show before, but, um, he's never really done it on a date, on a basis. They've, they've sometimes had cybernetic implants and whatnot. So, to have them, have him kill, like, a full-on flesh-and-blood character is, like, new to him, but he's, but he gets over it because he's like, yeah, 
these people are here to kill me, so I don't care if they're flesh and blood, I am going to survive this. And I really dig that. Also, Jack gets stabbed, and you see like a profuse amount of blood, and man, <laughs> Jack is put on the edge here so many times. This fight, this opening fight, with Jack fighting all seven of the Daughters of Aku is just nothing short of awesome. There's minimal dialogue, and there's this great scene where Jack goes in this temple, and he's hiding in a tomb, and the music is beautiful, where the daughters are searching for him, and, when, and the music keeps building and building and building, goes silent, boom, it goes into, into just another action mode, and, oh, God, have I missed this show. It's nice to see a rev once again, I'll say it again, you know, we've had Ben 10 rebooted and revived, we've had Teen Titans, Teen Titans revived, and we've had Powerpuff Girls revived. That was three strikes. On the other hand, along comes Gennady Tarkovsky on Adult Swim to give us the show that we've all, you know, a show that we've always kind of wanted. And I understand that, yeah, this is the final season. Go out with a fucking bang. So... By all means, you are going out with that fucking bang. <laughs> More like fucking boom. So yeah, this this was completely beautiful. Um, once again, and I, I said this with Logan, and I said this with the first episode, is that what I like about this show is that it's and much like what I said about Logan, is that the, the vi there is violence in this show, and it's very evident in this episode more so than the first, but. Tarkovsky and the creative team behind this show understand that the violence only is going to accentuate the story. It's not there just because oh we're an adult sh we're on Adult Swim we can ever we can do whatever the flying fuck we want. So that could have easily gone sideways. That could have easily gone sideways real quick. So the fact that they are using this violence and using the Adult Swim rating, but still keeping true to the original show and just accentuating it is nothing short of great, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, you guys tell me. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.